channel welcome to the vlog and welcome to the garage today we're going to be changing the headlights in Billie Jean to get more visibility on the highway especially at night my wife's already hit a deer on the highway and I just I do not like the headlights that are in the truck now they're the yellow halogens we all know we like to upgrade to LEDs so Oxido has kindly sent us a pair of brand new headlights for the truck. We are going to get these LED bulbs swapped out for the halogens. Oxido has kindly sent us these new LED bulbs for Billie Jean. So we're going to get the old yellow crusty halogens out and get these new LED bulbs put in and just increase the safety and visibility at night for my family. So. Let's get these changed. So the tools you're gonna need are a 5.5 millimeter socket or wrench and a plastic clip tool uh, for removing a clip. The same way we're gonna do this is the same way we uh, tackled the Elantra actually. We are going to be going in through the uh, fender well. We don't have to jack the truck up and take the tire off because obviously there's enough room uh, between the tire and the fender well to get it peeled back enough that we can reach in there and change the bulb out. So let's get the three bolts and the one clip out. So the three bolts in question are one here, one here, and one right up here. Get these three out and then deep inside here there's actually a clip. You can see up in here there is a little plastic clip you pop it out once you got it pulled out you can just give it a twist and it just looks like that pretty standard clips if I've ever seen one before. So let's get these bolts out and a fender, inner fender well drop down. Right up here is your low beam. This dust cover just pulls off and then you can get into the bulb but you turn clockwise, pull it out, and there is the old halogen bulb. So let's get this unclipped and the new one put in. Got the bulb out, you just push on the tab, pull the connector out, it's very simple. The low beams are H11s, so let's get the new bulbs unboxed and get the new one in and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison just like I normally do with all of the bulb changes We got some zip ties and Allen keys and the new bulbs with the same connector as what we have here. Both H11s. So let's get this new one put in and I'll show you what the differences look like. I do get asked a lot if there is enough space for the extra wiring and connectors and I can tell you there is a fair amount of space in there for all of that wiring to fit behind the dust cover. Lots of space to get that wiring in there and the covers back on. That's the high beam cover but that's the low beam and no problem. What an absolute difference. It's hard to tell with the camera but we got the yellow yellow halogens and the very whitish blue 
LEDs. That flickering you see is just the frame speed of the camera that's not really flickering in real life, but the headlights now match the fog lights. That is such an amazing upgrade. Much, much better. Now, let's get the other one done so we got matching lights. The one thing you need to make sure in the instructions, it shows you as well, that the bulb should be sitting straight up and down when installed so that the light can emit from both sides at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position. If it's turned or if it's backwards, you can use this little set screw and the Allen key that comes in the kit. If you use that Allen key and that set screw, you can make sure that the bulb is in the correct orientation because nine times out of 10, the problem with the lights being too bright and blinding is they're not installed correctly. So what happens is the person turns them and they're pointing up and down, which deflects the light differently from the way that they've been designed so that they become extra blinding. So just make sure that when it's orientated, it is straightened up so the light is shining at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position and you'll get the best efficiency out of the LED bulbs. There we go, very simple, quick upgrade, but increase the safety and visibility while you're driving, especially at nighttime on the highway. So let's go out and I'll show you what they all look like, all finally installed. Nice blue, white, that's just the refresh rate, frame rate of the camera that's making that flickering, LEDs. All matching. Yes, yes, I know. The truck needs to be washed. Yes, I'm very aware the truck needs to be washed, but from December 13th until January 9th, 10th, we were in an extreme deep freeze. We had a month straight of basically minus 30 weather. Everything was frozen, the streets were frozen. Um, our washing machine J pipe uh, P trap there for the washing machine that froze so we couldn't even do laundry it was just it's been a nightmare so it's been way too cold to wash the any of the vehicles and now it's like it's eight degrees out here in Calgary which not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but it's 30 to 7 is like it's almost a 40 degree difference in temperature so makes it hard to wash the vehicles and right now all the snow is melting and it's just it's a mess so by the time you wash it and you get home you're not going to even notice the difference that the car is washed but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog Changing the headlights was a major upgrade, made a huge difference in the truck. So now the headlights are new. If you haven't seen the previous vlog, how to change your taillights, that is on the back. With the taillights, the new taillights are in. I'll put the link above. All the links for the headlights that I used will be down in the description. A huge thank to Oxido for providing us with the bulbs to make this change and make this upgrade happen. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Have a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.